Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is September the 28th, 2021. And before we jump into things here, I want to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the beginning of October. So you're going to want to come and sign up for that. It's going to be available to every tier. I also have a spreadsheet with a variety of different designs and a TCG Player affiliate link with a Your Playmat discount code as well listed in the description. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make videos like these on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting the list off here with Ramsey's Overdark from Legends. This Legends Reserve List Rare is down 10.76% from 135 to 120.47. And the next loser we have on our list today is Marsh Flats from Modern Horizons 2. This fetch land is down 10.82% from 1857 to 1656, actually breaking the floor that I once stated. I thought about 20 bucks was going to be the cheapest they'd go. Next up on the list is Azuri's Predation from Commander 2015. This card is down 12.51% from 839 to $7.34. And we have Dathi Voidwalker from Modern Horizons 2. This rare is down 14.29% from 819 to $7.02. We've got another reserve list card on our loser section here today. It's Master of the Hunt from Legends, and this reserve list card is down 22.97% from 88.99 to 68.55. Next up on the list is Den of the Bugbear from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This card is down 23.50% from $7.15 to $5.47. And our final loser of the day is Master Biomancer from Commander Anthology. And this reprint is down 33.33% from $3.15 to $2.10. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are starting that list off here with the Scarab God from Double Masters. This reprint is up 8.11% from 23.91 to 25.85. Now the original copy from Hour of Devastation currently is about 24.33 on the market, so about a dollar less expensive than the reprint from Double Masters. This card is seeing a ton of play in the Commander format. In decks like the Scarab God, Will Het, the Rock Cleaver, but also Pioneer decks like Niv to Light. Next up is Agadim's Awakening from Zendikar Rising, and this Mythic Sorcery is up 8.35% from 14.37 to 15.57. The extended art version of this card is about 17.72 on the market, so about $2 more expensive than the regular copy. This card is seeing a lot of play in standard Demir Rogues, but also modern decks like Orzhov Stoneblade, Black Red Sacrifice, and commander decks like Yuriko the Tiger Shadow. Next up is a zombie card, Relentless Dead from Shadows over Innistrad, and this mythic zombie is up 11.17% from 25.42 to 28.26. Now this card is seeing a lot of play in the commander format in decks like the Scarab God, Verena Leech Queen, Will Het the Rock Cleaver, and even Jisa and Giralf. Our next card on the list today is Deadly Rollick from Commander 2020. This instant is up 11.43% from 1338 to 1491. Now this was a card printed in a commander format, so it is seeing play in commander in decks like Eureka, the Tiger Shadow, Crick, Son of Yogmoth, and even Zaraxa, the Exemplary. Next card we have is Alrun's Epiphany from Kaldheim, and this mythic is up 11.49% from 888 to $9.90. Currently, the borderless version of this card is $9.75 on the market, so roughly around the same price as the regular copy. This card is seeing a lot of play in the standard format. Index like Salt Eye Control, Is It Control, Azorius Control, Salt Eye Ramp, as well as Commander decks like Ranar the Ever Watchful. Next up on the list is Ren and Seven from Innistrad Midnight Hunt, and this Mythic Planeswalker is up 12.71% from 28.88 to 32.55. The borderless version of this card is about 36.35, so about $4 more expensive than the regular copy. This card is seeing a lot of play in the standard format in Selesnya Ramp, Mono Green Aggro, Gruel Werewolves, and even Selesnya Midrange as well. Next card we have today is Gravecrawler, a card that was on our list yesterday. This is a dual decks blessed versus cursed version up 13.16% from 1368 to 1548. Now the original copy of this card is about 1794 on the market from Dark Ascension and the buy box promo is 2150 currently on the market. This card is seeing a lot of play in Legacy Hogak, but also commander decks like Wilhet the Rock Cleaver and even the Scarab God. 
We have Rot Hulk from Game Night, another zombie on our list today. It's up 15.79% from 1387 to 1606 as this card is up on our list again today. It is seeing a lot of play in the commander format and some of the same decks like the Scarab God, Will Het, the Rock Cleaver, and even Verena Leech Queen. And the next card we have on our winner section today is the Meat Hook Massacre, another card from Innistrad Midnight Hunt. And this legendary enchantment is up 31% from 1961 to 2569. The extended art version of this card is $32.91 on the market, so about $7 more expensive than the regular copy. It is seeing a lot of play right now in the standard format in Black Midrange, Salt Eye Ramp, and even Demir Control, as well as Commander decks like Woolhead the Rock Cleaver. Our last card of the day is Emerwolf from Dark Ascension, and this uncommon wolf is up 35.14% from 313 to 423, and I absolutely love the artwork on this from Therese Nielsen. This card is seeing a lot of play in the commander format in decks like Tovalar, Dire Overlord, Earlric of the Kralin Horde, and even Tovalar, the Midnight Scourge. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are starting that list off here with Oromancer from Odyssey. This old frame foil is up 45.17% from 3095 to 4493. And we have Storage Matrix from Urza's Destiny. This rare old frame foil is up 49.94% from 4648 to 6969. Next card we have on our list today is Witch Ma Nephilim from Guild Pack. This card is at 51.31% from $21.81 to $33. Next up, we have Catalyst Stone from Odyssey. This rare artifact is up 53.31% from $24.31 to $37.27. Next card we have is Pale Moon from Nemesis, another old frame foil, up 65.93% from $12.59 to $20.89. And we have Mantis Engine from Urza's Destiny. This card is up 69.87% from $4.68 to $7.95. Next card we have on our list is Mistblind Clique from Lorwyn. This card is up 75.30% from $15.95 to $27.96. We've got Natural Affinity from Mercadian Mass, another rare old border foil. is up 78.62% from 27.32 to 66.66. And we have Lizuka the Ruthless from Savers of Kamigawa. This card is up 147.08% from 480 to 11.86. And our last foil mover of the day is Scour from Urza's Destiny. This card is up 374% from 54 cents to $2.56. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared on YouTube's algorithm as I'm still trying to grow on this platform. Also, please check out the links in my description. They really, really help support the channel. And I'm proud of a, a design that me and my friend worked on for a spread shop. And it's just absolutely incredible. There's a reserve list table with four characters. And I think it's pretty funny how they're all playing magic together. And they're all on the reserve list. I also do these videos from Monday to Friday. So I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Mark Movers. And until then, have a great rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.